What's going on there, Workforce? Chris here with work to game and today I'd like to talk a little bit about Octopath Traveler and the three-hour demo that we got. But first, I'd like to thank our Patreons. If you definitely feel free in the comments below to thank a Patreon or maybe even consider becoming one. Here's the two that we're thanking most today. Now let's jump in. Octopath Traveler is coming out in a month and they gave us access to a three-hour demo. Now that three-hour demo is only going to allow you to play for that amount of time because at the end of that, you're gonna be offered a chance to save and when when you buy the game next month, if you choose to, you would be able to pick up exactly where that save left off. So I absolutely encourage you to take at least the free three hours and try it out on the Switch, regardless of everything I'm about to say, just because it's free and you might as well. That being said, this game is absolutely amazing. It is incredibly stunning and honestly, it's just overwhelmingly well thought out and beautiful. Now, I've only put three hours in. I would have to say based on the pacing that this is gonna be at least a 60 hour game for a typical playthrough. Just based on what I can already see of the map, I wouldn't be shocked by that. I'm sure people who play it like a JRPG and really take their time and dive in could easily get 80 hours of joy out of this. And you speedrunners out there, I don't see how it's gonna be less than 40 unless you're just really trucking, skipping every cutscene. Just from the sheer number that they've already shown us, assuming there's no zones or boss fights outside of that or anything you get stuck on or decide to farm for. Now the music number is beautiful and they have these audio cues that kind of make up for the areas where they don't have it fully voice acted but I'm sure after a while you're gonna hear the same music you're gonna hear those same audio cues and that's gonna get repetitive. Each class has its own unique systems ways to interact with people and they have the eight classes already available in the game and in the demo you can try any of them and actually through the process of trying them you're most likely going to be unlocking a second class to come along with you and if you really speed up you could get to a third. Uh, I was able to get to three but just barely and I ended up skipping a lot of story during the third one to make sure that I had enough time left that I could clear the third class's storyline. I don't think it much matters which class you start with, although they are in kind of that same order. So when you're picking them, keep in mind that that space on the map, you're gonna either be going clockwise or counterclockwise, or maybe one left and one right uh, to get your three during the demo. So if there's two classes you wanna see that are next to each other, and there's another class you wanna see all the way on the other side of the circle, I would go ahead and focus on those two because that would give you a chance to get a taste on those. I assume that if you create multiple profiles on your Switch that you could try starting at a fresh three hours all the way from the get-go, and certain parts of the story and everything would be repeated, but I, I would think that that is an option, I just chose that three hours was plenty for me. Now, guys, in all honesty, the things that I really like about this game are mostly focused on the fact that I haven't played a turn-based JRPG in a while, and so that kind of fills a need that I want. And so if you already have one of those in your life, that may already be something full here. And, and you may not need to do another one no matter how well thought out it is. The second thing is that the beauty is astounding. 2.5D is, is really, it's hard to do. And uh, it basically feels exactly like a pixel art game from classic, but there's these kind of foggy things in the distance. As you run towards them, they become clear. And sometimes you'll see like a foggy thing in the foreground. It's like, oh, I think that's a chest. And you run towards you. And so that is incredibly awesome. The, the different storylines are inventive enough. If you want to read them, there's enough there that you could jump in, talk to everybody. There's also enough there that if you wanted to skip it, they make pretty much every cutscene skippable by holding B. And so it's, it's there to cater to whichever play style best fits you. I love the random battles as you run along a very like I, anytime you run into these JRPGs, from Pokemon to Final Fantasy, anytime you kind of run into these as you're running along, it's like, oh, an encounter appears, and it's going to be random based on the zone you're in. My criticisms would be that based on the fact that I had very limited time, I was struggling to understand why there were low-level zones appeared to what ne ne need it seemed to be high level zones. And so I would run in and just get one shot. And so I assumed that if I slowed down and played a little more, I would get a better feel for how the map flows. But I didn't feel that this acting as a demo, since it seems to just be a release of the full game, uh, or at least a good portion of it, there was I think one time I ran and it said, this is a demo version, you can't go there yet. But I don't think it would have been high enough level anyway. So the fact that they've really taken what feels like a lot of the restrictions off, I do have to admit that maybe that's why I was struggling to understand which direction I should be going and getting myself into places that I shouldn't be. Uh, I felt that the combat was inventive enough. The final boss fight on my third one up at, you know, it said level seven, but I had everybody way above that. And I still struggled through it the first time and then had to kind of pay attention to mechanics and strategize on how I was going to beat it the second time. For, so for those of you that got to join me on stream for that, hopefully that was fun to watch and it'll be a blast for you to play. Uh, 
I, I don't see a reason not to get this game. If you have room for another game in your life and you're looking for a single-player JRPG that's turn-based combat, a world to explore, tons of classes, tons of depth, followers that you can kind of pick up and change your experience, loot to grind, money to grind, items to use. It's everything that a game should be, and it is unbelievably well done. So all I can say after three hours with this game is that I had an absolute blast, and I'm sure you would too. I don't know if that's enough of a reason to purchase, but it's definitely enough of a reason to try the free demo available this month going into next month. I don't know if they'll take the demo down at time of purchase. I didn't see anything about that, but if you can try this game for free, I would do that so that you could plan on going in you know, July 13th, really aware of whether or not you think this is a $60 value. This has been Chris with work to game Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Do you guys remember Clyde the Couch Bear from the early videos when I was shooting in my living room and the couch was right behind me? Just wanted to do a quick update on his life. He has been way promoted. He's now guest bedroom bear. Doesn't flow as well, but uh... Definitely feels like he's got his own sweet gigs now that we have two beds in our house.